So this is our new radar system. This is a third generation Delphi radar. It's mounted on the front of the vehicle. It allows us to reach out about uh, 325 feet for collision warning with brake support. It, uh, it actually is a uh, phase array radar. It has no moving parts and it the same type of uh, radar that you find in the front of an F-22 fighter jet. Okay. So we're really proud to be able to uh, release this on our full-size sedan Taurus, and we know that this is going to cascade into all the four vehicles in the next couple of years. So this is the collision collision avoidance? Collision warning with brake support. So it's a, it's a collision warning system. You get a, um, a tone inside the vehicle, and it lights this dash, uh, this light, these LEDs on the dash right here. Uh, they reflect up into the uh, into the windshield. It'll go off in a second. I have it cycling about every 30 seconds. And it will light those lights up for you and let you know that um, you need to apply the brakes because you're obviously closing there it is. Closing on the target um, too fast. Is that um, since you're still with uh, since Volvo is still part of Ford? Is this the similar? system than what yeah, they just showed in the XC60? Exactly, yes. yes. We do share our technology with Volvo. We're still, Volvo's still part of the family. <laughs> okay. And uh, their system actually uh, has a braking function where ours doesn't do that. Okay. Is that planned for the future? Well, you know, it's, it's part of the uh, natural growth of the technology. You know, uh, at Ford Motor Company, you know, we, we have a uh, customer that is being introduced to these new technologies for the first time. Mm -hmm. We want to crawl before we walk, before we run. We're not ready to take the braking responsibility away from the driver yet. We want to, you know, the driver, we want to just make them aware. Get your eyes back on the road. Uh, step on the brakes. We're going to assist you. We pre-charge the brakes uh, when the warning goes off. So that means the minute you step on the brakes, it will give you full braking authority. Okay. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know that you know, everyone's ready for cars to start driving for them. Uh, we think that uh, we would always like to have the customer in the driving loop, part of the driving team, you know, and, but we want to be able to give them a, a technology that will save them from an accident if they happen to be distracted, okay? 40% um, of all accidents are uh, some sort of a rear-end accident, mm -hmm. and 50% uh, and of the accidents that are out there, the customers never stepped on the brakes. Okay, no matter what kind of crash it was, they just never stepped on the brakes. And we think we can uh, help them get their eyes back on the road and, and uh, aid them in braking in time. To, if not stopping before you hit, uh, at least uh, allowing you to scrub some speed off before you hit. So the uh, you guys' philosophy is still keep the driver involved. Don't make it a complete. You don't have to be. There has to be some interaction. You don't want to take the interaction out of driving. That's it, it's more just a wake up and pay attention kind of thing. Pay attention, you know. And, and this stuff is going to evolve. You know, this is such an important technology. We want to make sure the customers accept it and uh, start to bring it in. And you know, 20 years ago, you, you know, you had optional power windows, you had optional air conditioning. You can hardly get a vehicle without power windows and air conditioning nowadays. Customers have accepted it as. This, That's normal equipment, equipment, right. By the time we get these kinds of radars perfected and people feel that they um, have to have them on their vehicles, uh, you know, we can start to add other functionality with the radars as well.